Hello, my name is David, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to continue Make a Good Mega Man Level 1 Remastered by going into Tier 4 here. Which is very dark and kind of disturbing for a... Uh... For, um... A... Festival area. Also, Rush... Like, with the base costume, Rush has been, uh... Swapped out for Treble, which is basic dark. But anyway, here's Shadow Man. Dark and Mysterious Research Facility. Now this is my kind of place. Yeah, I bet it is. Alright, let's go over here. 8th place, 128 up, is the creator. Under construction, score 67.2, 71, 70, 73, 66, 56. Let's go. So this is Research Facility. There is no reason for this to even be here. Uh, ah, right, this is the level that... Uh, yeah, this takes a bit of a sport. Uh, actually, we don't really need to. The fun fact explains it for you, but as you can see, Mets only shoot one bullet, and these things move at the same speed, uh, whether or not they're on the same height of them, as them or not. So that's kind of different. Anyway, octopus batteries. Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to do that, but whatever. Whoa, why did you come over here? Whatever. Okay, please. Also, no, I kind of want to try something. No, okay. Uh, there's a bolt over here. Oh, there's two bolts over here. <laughs> Even better. Uh, ah! Okay. Cool. Don't. Okay. I don't really feel like going down there. Okay. There's not really anything that interesting about the stage to mention yet. I don't really know why it's called under construction. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be a construction site. I don't really get it, honestly. Anyway. Uh, okay. Epic dodging slave. Uh, okay. Uh, whoa! Wait, that one does change speeds. You lied to me! Yeah, another one up down there that we don't need. I feel like this level has a lot of one ups. Maybe that's just me. I just noticed that. Yeah, they're not even useful because we're using them. No. Because we're using the infinite lives uh, mode. Okay. And yes. No! Uh, we gotta be careful. Right, I think we should be fine. No, actually. Duh! I almost made it without taking damage. But almost is not good enough. Hello? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I do want that health. No! Fuck you! Uh, Alright. No! Alright. Cool. Another bolt down there, but I'm not getting that. Ooh. Okay. What the hell? Oh, I need to fuck myself. What? Wait. Oh. There we go. The camera is not wanting to pop out. No! Okay, we made it. Then! This is already the end. 
Well, it's a nice short level after the previous two. Alright. Let's read some judge comments. Storm Pyro, 71. This was super fun. The whole level was really well designed, especially that one shield attacker towards the end that was specifically placed to be turning around when you finish climbing the ladder. And overall, it was just filled with a bunch of super neat mixes of obstacles, like the needles and gumball machines. I had a ton of fun. Also, Bacass owns hashtag memes. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a hashtag in there. I don't have that in my judge things yet. I mean, I don't really need it, but sure. Uh, Bacass, B-C-A-S, that means Burst Chaser Air Fighting, uh, which is a Mega Man 4 drum hack called Mega Man 4 Burst Chaser and Air Sliding, where you can, uh, Burst Chaser means you go super fast, and Air Sliding means you can slide in the air, and the reason it is in Pyro's Commons is because the music in the level we just played comes from that drum hack, so, that's cool. Uh, Cheese 8, 70, not sure I'm much of a fan of the complicated platforming terrain style, this is going for it. Wow, let's try that again. Not sure I'm much of a fan of the complicated platforming terrain style this has going for it. It kind of brought out all the little problems in the engine, or all the problems you missed in the take but all the big bulky enemies definitely made me notice a lack of health reapers too, but I had a good time all the time. Yuvio, 73. Finish the level, I wanna see what it's like when it's done. <laughs> Black Mordor Frame 66. No real comments here, nothing here really stood out as why we're really. using. Not the most creative level, but it isn't a cheap or unfair level either. It's overall pretty good, and I have to give you props for using it that bleh, what was there in a fairly solid manner. Also, I really liked your song choice. Kiram 56 Coherent theming all the way through was quite nice, however, some choices in this level were questionable. Pandas appeared to replace their armored cannons semi randomly which was odd considering they are very similar any enemy types, and the pandas are arguably easier. The cannons. I thought more of the pandas with the gumball machines because they both attack you too differently. Uh, some rooms also didn't really communicate well with the player, like the first room with the ice wall. I originally thought it was a death pit. Yeah, definitely that. Uh, the part with the hidden one up where I was like, what do I do? Overall, enjoyable but not perfect. 76 out of 100. I think having both the panditas and the gumball machine things in this level is a bit pointless, because they both attack in essentially the same way. Other than that, there's really not anything else wrong with this level. I like how you change the Mets and the Gary Obies, and I also really like your level design. There's honestly not much I have to say about this. Very solid stage. I don't really understand the name, though. Now, fun fact is what I mentioned in the beginning of the level. Of the video. This is the only stage that took advantage of a feature within the Mega Man 1 Met and Gary Obi object in Mega Man 1 to make a good Mega Man level 1. Wow! Let me try this again. This is the only stage that took advantage of a feature within the Mega Man 1 Met and Gary Obi object to make a good Mega Man level 1's dev kit, which allowed you to set how many shots the Mets fired and whether the Gary Obi was always fast or always slow. Yeah, that's what I mean with. That's what I was talking about in the beginning. So, in the next episode, we will take on 7th place over there. See you then. Goodbye.